Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Starry Whale. By the great land above, the evil ninja schemes has been exposed. This monkey face must have been orchestrated by the Eagles mastermind, and the failing chief seems highly suspicious. Let's encounter it first and execute it later. He had taken down all the fake teachers, and now it's the dean's turn. School regulation, you say? Oh, they won't include it in the data bank, right? Today, I'm gonna continue to do the continuous story quest. Oh my god, what is going on? What? Oh my! Hey! <laughs> so that's the father, that's the son, and who the hell is this one over here? And those pictures of Robin? Are you a simp? Ah, what a surprise, my dear students. Hmm. No appointment or a polite knock on the door. But I welcome you, but nonetheless. Cease the shady evasion! I urge you to come clean now! You're evil ninja Osaru's fiendling chief, aren't you? Uh... Uh, excuse me, dear student. Could you help me translate that? The short story is that a memetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slumber Nana Monkey is that virus, Prof Nana. And its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. <sighs> I thought this class would last a little longer than this. Your confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But nah. You're thinking too highly of this place. Panacone is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments on humans. Here, it's just me. A second-class research aide working in Panacone on my graduation thesis. An atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore slumber, Nana Monkey, especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon, they'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape, the moment of slumber, Nana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. Endless atrocities that Osaru unleashed onto the world. Just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night? Put them! Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me. Or are you? Never mind. Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiment. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas... Reproduce. Okay. That Jisu. Okay, is it called the pollination? To maintain their taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through asexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. Hmm. That's correct. Five amber eras ago, the Intelligentsia Guild cultivated a banana species that humans deemed perfect. The Golden Slumber Nana. The Golden Slumber Nana swiftly dominated the food market. Nutritious, sweet, and its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. It transformed every interstellar banana plantation into a spectacle akin to the golden hour at night. But it eventually became extinct, didn't it? Exactly. Because it was cultivated by humans, the slumber nana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerabilities. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, the same banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind was scrubbed clean from the entire cosmos in just mere months. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that humans will suffer the same fate? Of course! The Golden Slumber Nana's predecessor was the highly reproductive Jade Green Banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years. Much like Penacone as we know it. It's a pity those on Penacone just had to be second-rate copycats. But with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace following the exact path of the Golden Slumber Nana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless, having undergone a flawed banana enlightenment 
the doctor seeks to return these misguided worlds to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. However, I have visited those planets. As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become fiendlings. <sighs> but I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was once a sailor. He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with the other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on his planet. Even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? Or She's always been could it be that this familiar scene reminded you of your past? Given the doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. But the commoners, <laughs> all they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization's evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, everything ought to be used to its full potential. Uh. How long has it been now? I'm surprised that lesson hasn't stuck, Doctor's failed creation. <sighs> Your scheme ends here. Oh, is that so? Ever considered why I allowed you to do as you please on campus? Even going as far as to guide you to me? Paperfold University is nothing more than an incubator. No great loss if discarded. But... If it can eradicate the pests in the lab, then it'd be used to its full potential. Banana, banana. That's all I have for you. Class dismissed. Let's see a chest, though. Okay. Well, I see a boobas. What the freak? They haunted that before. What the fuck? Did he stop time? Such a brilliant film. It is a shame for it to end now. He's insane. Look at that face. <laughs> All right, class. Get ready to switch scenes. Damn. Holy shit. What is happening? Just what do you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? I've already met all your demands, dearest producer. Memo Keeper? Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Lift this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression. Demands? I'm afraid not, Mr. Becker. Until you hand over those incorrigible and willful monkeys, you have not met all of my demands. But that's not our deal. I went to great lengths to help you infiltrate the school, Disrupted the family's surveillance and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors? We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow their journey to end here. Mr. Recker, there is no room for negotiation here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slumber nana monkey like those students. Hand them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. No, I refuse. Prof Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skill. However, believing you could follow us unnoticed was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for our experiment, you're nowhere near qualified. Great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threat means nothing to me. 
Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having to insert an obelisk next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you too are just a pitiable monkey, struggling for worthless dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. The assistant is watching. Does he even know? Okay, back to being March 7th and Bull Hill. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. Fucking banana. That line again. And that is everything that Slumber Nana Monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotions we experience, be it joy, sadness, or an epiphany. Every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within this vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create or erase emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior is generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. Want a load of horse manure? I'm checking somewhere else. Huh? Oh, wait! Well, where are you going? It wasn't easy to get in, so don't do anything that'll draw unnecessary attention. At least, stop pointing your gun at people. I appreciate it, nameless gal. You have uh, quite the authority around here, huh? Has the uh, Astral Express begun to take on monkeys? I wasn't expecting that either. But the assistant Anna's insist, I'm a great talent. They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance. Wait, talented for a club that advocates the abandonment of all thought? Ain't wrong, am I? You were so darn mesmerized by their speech back there. Well, I was just listening to what they had to say. It's not like they managed to convince me anyway. Plus, if they don't talk in rhyme, it's probably just nonsense. <sighs> so, what brought you here? You don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys. Why not? Galaxy Rangers are forking monkey fans. <laughs> we go bananas at the mere sight of them. So, he's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive? That explains why he's dressed like a sheriff. Uh, no, no. I guess you could say he is a fugitive? What? Yada, yada. Tell her my last story, then. I'm gonna go check the place out. Yeah, okay, Marsh. You go stay over there while I'm doing something else. Hey, look, more bananas. But well, Marsh is just following me around still, so. Banana. Banana, banana! Not a single thing around here makes sense. This is downright bananas. Yeah, yeah, kind of weird. Okay, back to my show. Um, hey, party might We got up. Probably. Hey, nameless gal. Can we have a little talk? Over yonder. Uh, just me? Why can't we just talk here? Um, it's okay. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for you over there, March. Although her tone is normal, though, still in her nose is in the most expression as she holds. What are you up off. to? I only just convinced her everything's fine, you know. Awful chummy with someone you just met, ain't you, friendo? All right, great nameless one. Drop the act already. What's the deal on your side? When did you guys start laying eyes on Dr. Primitive? Dr. Primitive? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's swap intel then. You first. Doesn't take much time to tell Dr. Prim Primitive's stories. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Exactly as we suspected. So, did you find anything at Dreamflux Reef? <sighs> there ain't a thing here. But who cares? Seen this plenty of times, and there's only one solution. We've all rid this rodeo, so I reckon I don't need to spell it out. Um, 
Yes, I totally agree. Oh, sweet. All right then. Prepare Help to me tear this place a high-ranking member. Huh? Oh, huh? Why do they say it's different sentences? Uh, uh, I was just trying to make a joke, but you took it even further. No, you both did. You're ruffling my bananas now. That wasn't a joke. If it were the IPC lackeys, I'd have them lined up right this instant for a one-way ticket to the other side. They only planted kids in this place. I can't be using my ways on them. It's not the first time Dr. Primitives use others as scapegoats. I ain't gonna step on the same rate twice. But aren't you doing that right now? Falling for the trap? <laughs> you ever seen a squib load? When timed right, it's more effective than unloading a full clip. Now, I got no clue what kind of monkey business this club's up to. But I know from the static noise at Dream Flux Reef that they're sure as heck interested in Pinnacone. They'll definitely step in if we raise the roof off of this place. Unless you've got a better idea you can think of. Let's do it my way, Star Member. Uh, I do have an idea. Sort of. Uh, just hold your horses. And let's go back and meet Montana first. Remember, be nice. Yeah, what if I don't want to be nice? Okay, I just... Uh, hold up, I did saw... Um, did I saw someone else named Peking? That's what I thought. Uh, investigate. Yank it off! There you go. Hello, Tweet. Passing friends. Can you saw a garden with me? Why can't no some club confirm them? Birds can fall in love with cats. I think I hear something. Uh, how would I play like Yonder Sink Love Birds Tweet? Oh, cat, cat. Therefore, I thought I cat. It'd be much better if you were an all going, but Tweet, Tweet, farewell, my friendly for love. I hope you'll never cry once I leave. Okay. Old kick walls? Interesting. What? Why should I have a phone? I'll say, I'm gonna make a TikTok! Aww, why did it run off? Aww, I wanted to play with it too. March, you're finally back! Yeah, uh, let's do this again. <laughs> the right way. This is Boot Hill. You guys started off on the wrong foot. He's actually a really nice person. Yeah, no, an asshole, oh, partner. Don't worry about me. I thought about it earlier. Pentacone sees a ton of visitors and transiting travelers. It's only normal to meet people of all sorts of background here. Yeah, I was wanted on a few occasions too. Uh, maybe a dozen times? Uh, never mind, that's not important now. Let's talk about the Slumber Nana Association. There's an important seminar scheduled for today, right? Are we in time for that? Oh, March! You remembered wrong again! This is far grander than a seminar! I guess... you can call it a theophany? In just a bit, we'll get to see the actual slumber nano monkey in the flesh! Holy bananas! There are rip-offs of this thing! <laughs> That's not it! Slumber Nana Monkey went viral overnight, but people have different opinions on how the fad began. No matter what people choose to believe, there has to be a Slumber Nana Monkey that started it all, and we're about to see it! The original Slumber Nana Monkey in all its unfiltered glory, free from all sorts of stereotypes. Uh, I'm not quite following, but it sounds impressive. I guess. We have a few other students from campus who attended a few theophanies before. What did they say about it? Nothing really, but they had this look. Um, like they'd been to the world's end. Every single one of them looked like they were in a state of absolute bliss. I want to feel like that too. Well, ain't that something? I reckon I gotta see it myself. Still got a bit to wait, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Hey, hold up! Where are you heading off to again? Me? Uh, point. I'm going somewhere. Um, uh, mm -hmm. right here. Um, I was going to talk to talk to the fudge pie who has made the super monkey monkey. Huh. Um, it's for either this one or the other person. Hey there. 
Hell. Banana. 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 Uh, it's hard to describe what says his part of the crowd. He looks over and the cloud his eyes was astonishing. It seems this place isn't planning to respond. A uh, god fucking damn it. Damn them! Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, will you speak to me like that other than that dumbass over there? Hey, you can't see me, right? For now. For now, for now. God damn it! It's honestly a little offense. She reveals his mouth and falls silence. Like, god damn Damn it, Marge! This is kind of awkward, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's awkward. What are they doing? Are they shocking him? What's this now? Watching TV gotta be this complicated. Oh, you're back. Uh, this is the theophany that Montana told us about. The only way to see Slumber Nana Monkey is apparently through forming some kind of connection with the Assist Nana. Thank you for waiting. Oh, another member hoping to see Slumber Nana Monkey? No, not her. Just me. Uh, trying to worm your way in again, huh? But you won't be able to establish a connection if you know nothing about Slumber Nana Monkey. You look unfamiliar but you don't seem like a regular member either <laughs> that's right i've been told i'm quite talented huh what talent do you have uh i'm denisovan 244 march 7th oh sh really oh it's you yes i've heard about you you have the potential to truly reach the source Please, come over to me. Let it play a lot, Mike. Uh, not so fast. What are you up to this time? The dimmer of us two plays a bait. The other gets ready to fight. Keep watch outside. Yeah, Mike. Play along with him. Hey, wait! Hey! Uh, hello? That was fast. Ugh. Really now? So he's actually talented? What is he thinking? The sound fades away. Unfortunately, let's say that it happens so quickly. He didn't have time to hear the girl's question and or his adventure. The answer is simple, miss. This gentleman here, he wants to visit the past more than anyone else in the room. <sighs> What's the big fudging idea here? Is this all there is? We meet again, sir. <laughs> I've seen run-down saloons fancier than this place. You call this a theophany? Crafting an attractive but deceptive vision is a crude method. Entirely opposite to the values that the Slumber Nana Monkey aims to share with people. Many other members before you have come here seeking something. But these tend to be the usual. Truth, happiness, peace, and the like. Unfortunately, there are no answers here. Only one question. Will this make you worse off? What is this fudging nonsense? <laughs> Have patience. I will explain everything in detail. Hmm. For example, if I asked you to give up malt juice, what would be your first thought? Um, to shoot you like a First team for now for the story quest. I mean, she's strong enough to be my team, anyways. Let's talk to them. You want to get a drink before that, won't you? That should be the exact thought in your head right now. Uh huh? Don't pull that nonsense on me. A classic will always be a classic. Ah, hold on, there, partner. Sometimes you gotta try something new. Introspection is key. No matter the hour. <laughs> you see, these are the thoughts that come to your mind when you were given that question. Sadly, 
it appears that whichever option you choose, there will be some lingering regret. With that, let's go on to imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. Under the gaze of both, you s the tombstone of Thought vanished instantly, leaving no trace behind. If the dependence on the drink was never there to begin with, this problem would naturally not exist, and the resulting thoughts would also disappear. Here's a question. Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Holy bananas. What's gotten into me? He's right. I, I don't have the urge to drink at all. <sighs> Messing around in my head like that. No wonder the synesthesia beacon's all screwed up. <sighs> no. This busted thing can't do it alone. So who's the scoundrel behind all this? Mm. Moving on! Let's turn our attention toward issues that are a little more... Um, complicated? Say, your hatred for the IPC. They're not dying! Oh, wait a minute, don't I will. <laughs> I see. That is one vast and endless wall of rage you have there. Since you know, think before you speak. Don't go asking for trouble, you banana. Calm yourself. Slum Banana Monkey wouldn't preach about forgiveness or burying the hatchet. Now that's something even I'd find annoying. Instead... <laughs> Did it support you taking vengeance into your own hands? Just like this. What? Okay, at least I'm being... Okay. I can really heal the march my team. I need those too. Dude, we got a fucking hoodie. I'm fine, these guys. Uh, I think something big. Uh oh Come on, let's do this. Oh, child is always getting her ass kicked. I mean... Run fast! Oh, this is saw. You know you know what they do, by the way. Wrapper. You can't run. My turn. Oh, I need fire. I didn't do that. With me out here. Oh well. How can we lose? I'm gonna go up and beat the shit out of these fools. Hello. This kid doesn't talk to get off the hook. Okay. Oh my god. This will be a while, people. You can't always run. get the child. Uh, I think something big again? again. Waiting in line for a bullet? Look, why are you even trying to attack the child? Uh let's turn this heal. You're the main guy, please die. Oh shit! I don't wanna be alone. I'm restarting this, hold up. I used to pipe for shield this time. Marsh is not working. For now, Marsh, you'll be out for now. Anyways, um, who do we attack next? Let's go after the main guy, because he's an asshole. Should kill an asshole. Like fire you all the right fire away, fire not gonna wait. Until everything burns! Ninja Pod, because he does all the shield. Is more than a battle. Sweet. Good. Ouch. Who are you firing? Who are you Barely surviving. No reasoning with you bunch anymore. There are only two kinds of people in the world. Any for the middle guy, full heal. Gun. Those who dig their own grave. In the name of Landau, your shield cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. What is will? Uh, Marsh has more shield defense than this much. Right now? It'll heal. Not enough. 
Be fine with the shield ability. Who will take down? Not take it down. Dude, his uppercut his head. Firefly. Identify. Set the city ablaze. We got it, yeah. Let's do fair and square. Be okay. Fire. Oh, I should have saved the heal ability. Excuse me, coming through. I'm gonna do it right now. To That's okay. Far away. This is my move. <laughs> For a tough did. case like yours, we're gonna try them all. Hmm? Ah! that wasn't this is more than a battle. You gone. Ignite! Yeah. Is that all? We wait for the shield. Don't worry, this one's on me. Uh, this on you. Bring it on, Booker. Draw. Boom. I didn't say it can't break. Woo! There's no reason with you bunch anymore. Who wants some? You get there some. There are only two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. Nice. <laughs> You have my gratitude in the name of Landau. I like years of cold. She hardens the will. We shall never fall. Damn, this me chills. Who does that? Okay, uh, who will take down you? The die is cast. Joining the battle. Wait, this one's getting pissed. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long battle I'm doing with. Is that all? Oh, more members, huh? Seriously? Listen, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Let's do this. Fair and square. Fire. Who oh, does that? It must be of um, not Hanzo. I forgot his name. We'll watch. Let's do a safe Let's do it right now. Just be safe and soft. You have my gratitude. But did I build the against us? Remember to aim for the heart. Barely survived. <laughs> Good. Don't hit the fight. In position. Now don't you dare try to this. <laughs> I think I'd die by now. Oh, okay. In the name of Landau, Shield! Years of cold. Pardons the will. Even though we'll the shield for some people. Good here needs it. He's like, you're being fisted. Draw. Nice, not heal, good heal. Hey! To travel far away. <laughs> For Go a ahead. tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. I <laughs> have my gratitude. That's fine. Took most of the shield. Damn. Joining the battle. Right. We almost dead. Waiting in line for a bullet. Oh, like this one. Bring it on, Booker. Fire! I didn't say it can't break. Hell no. There's no reason I'm with you bunch anymore. Like this one. There are only two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. I hope you're prepared. You're dead. The die is cast. Target specimen sighted. <laughs> Big X, my knee, no way. Yeah, 
Yeah, but... Let's take out these extras. Let's do it. Fair and square. Draw. Here's your final reward. That's massive. Damn. Perfect. Now. Let's you. You will okay. know. You just touched my sister. That's what's in my In sister, the name of bitch. Landau, years of cold pardons the will. We shall never fall. Dale, but took by the shield. In position. This one's getting stopped on. Executing attack. Like Firefly, I will fight for myself. Until everything burns to ashes. This one is gonna get done. Nice. Oh my goodness. All of you stand still. Like this one. Bring it on, Blucker. Fire. I didn't say I can't break. Shit, man. There's no reason it with you bunch anymore. Like this one. There are only two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. Damn, big damage. Uh, this me Excuse me. Coming through. No, let's get more than that. I know. It's just not a lot. <laughs> okay, Firefly. You see at these guys. Waiting in line for a bullet? Like this one. <laughs> Saw them! Uh. Is that all? Uh... Yeah, I'll put up this guy. <laughs> oh! This is an HP boy. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We'll be fine. Um, let's do, because why not? You're yeah, about to get a taste of the medicine! Live to fight! Fight you live! Yeah, we got both of them. Uh oh. To travel far away! Go ahead, <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! Thank you. I will keep fighting. Oh, look, he's almost dead. Let's do fair and square. He almost dead. Let's go. Here's your final reward. Final reward, bitch. That's right. He took the last blow. How do you feel? What a load of hogwash. You reckon taking aim at phony targets gonna get your blood pumping? I understand. But venting your anger can help relieve the tension you built up. And when that happens, you'll be less averse to accepting unpalatable advice. Now, just like before, imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality for a person who has made revenge their sole purpose in life. What would happen if their hatred were to vanish? Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Rotten bananas. What wacky theory are you trying to prove? Well, what the heck? I actually feel pretty good right now. I, yeah. Who banana fudging cares about revenge? Excellent. You're very perceptive. Let's move on to the next lesson then. Galaxy Ranger. I know very well, hatred isn't something that can be easily erased. This will be your toughest lesson. But I'll be with you throughout. Now then. If you end all occasion with free everything ties you to the world. Do you feel that we're not much? Hmm. Will this make you worse off, Mr. Ranger? 
the demons and the man named Buhyo knows it well. Why that the man that I must know as Wu here? I ain't quite sure what you're talking about, but you sure seem mighty fascinating. Nice to meet you, partner. What's your name? This isn't the first time we've met, but you can call me Prof Nana Primo. Oh, a cultured soul then. No, I'm just a research ape. And you? You'll soon be mentioned in my research report. Handling the commotion at the university is easy. The main concern has always been here, Dreamflux Reef. If it weren't for the need to eliminate you as a variable, I wouldn't have purposely slowed down. And with that, the class here has come to an end. Get a move on, dear student. I'll be waiting for you at the end to unveil a new chapter of your life. Hmm. Is that it, really? Oh, let's look at this. Uh, should I heal her first? That should be fine. I got a healer, that's fine. What's the next lesson, partner? Erudition is but an affliction that the average person cannot bear. Losing it will not make you any worse off. What's going on? Are oh, we just gonna... What if I take the other direction around? Dead Banana Society? Am I just gonna follow his ways? Okay, I'm gonna go heal up. Because why not? He's like, March. God damn it. Looks like I'm stuck following this guy around. Well, I was firefly and everything. He's like, what is happening, Bohio? I don't know, Pinder. Just, I'm getting followed now all of a sudden. Forgetting these colors will not make you any worse off. What is happening now? Oh shit. What is happening? What the hell is happening? Why are there so many balloons now? Sound will only introduce frustration and anxiety. Okay. He's thinking like, hmm. Now it's being all quiet! What? Uh, can I even speak? Dr. Tim filled everything in silence. No sound could be heard. It was easy to imagine what words were working at the moment. If you lose the ability to see everything, you won't be any less happy. No matter how you look at it, the man was always one step behind. The trap would willing to walk into a garage to flip up firepower and intent to use. Thus, after finding his nameless, his faith was clear. Just like those who were once human, he too would transform into a monkey. Huh? Bam! Unfortunately, the sense of pain remains. Whenever a weapon is pushed to use it, bring someone back to the senses. Marsh, is that you? Hey! Wake up! Wake up! How did your book go about again? <laughs> in time. Thank goodness you didn't end up like that. He's like, what the fuck just happened? What happened? Uh, no time to explain. Hurry, I need your help. I'll go wake Montana. Hurry! <sighs> Wait. What's going on? This is my grace, Miss Nameless. As for your ranger friend, though, you just single-handedly destroyed his path to happiness. Uh, stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Naturally. Resorting to violence is not my intention. I'm only here to prove something, not to subjugate. Prove what? To prove that my viewpoint is in line with the desires of humans. She just woke up. Montana? March 7th? What are you trying to do? Uh, gosh, Montana! Don't you see what's going on? The bad guy's the one behind you! How could you say that? And here, I thought you loved Slumber Nana Monkey from the bottom of your heart! She don't know. You... Banna? Oh, Montana. Uh, I think... Let's get out of this place now. Hurry! As you wish. I look forward to you providing the last link in my proof. You're a sicko! You're a sicko? Motherfucker! This way. Why do you seem so out of it? Haven't you woken up yet? 
Two, I did. Hey, look, two marches. That's kind of weird. <laughs> so, I'm the real march. Hey, you're an imposter. I'm the real march. Turn around. I'm the real march. I don't get turn around. Okay, anyways, let's just keep going forward. Little one. Banana. 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 What? What's your problem? Why are you blocking our way? You're free to leave if you wish. But not with my subject. He's still under observation. Your subject? Mm-hmm. Unlike typical humans, his modified body is impervious to physical deterioration. With a steely grit and determination that never wavers, he can easily resist all forms of corruption. <laughs> a galaxy ranger like him. It'll be worthwhile to see what I can turn him into. Uh... Let me guess. You want to call for help right away because you're convinced these monkeys, formerly humans who have lost their minds, are under my command. If that's the case, why do you believe that you really woke up the ranger? Uh, that can't be right. Mr. Galaxy Ranger, would you please fire a shot at this young lady? Uh, hey! In her hurry turn, she appeared for the worst. Even if she saw a slimmer monkey among and got her to pull the trigger, she wouldn't be too surprised. However, Buddha's response was far beyond her expectation. But, sir, killing folks is against the law. Especially when it's a lovely lady like her. Huh? What the? Is that Buddha's past life look like? Ooh! Uh, accompanied by the usual tone of voice, what appears before much time was a fantasy scene that could only exist in a web of memories. I'm the star of the show now. Uh, all because of this here gun. Oh, it's a nice gun, all right, but using it to take a life. I have no such intention. How about the two of you settle your own scores while I'll be on my way? You? Wait a minute. Is this what you wanted me to see? That's right. This is merely a hollow dream. So even if they turned into monkeys here, their physical bodies in the real world will not be subjected to any biological deterioration. The ranger's extraordinarily staunch and unyielding mind made him an even more valuable specimen to be studied. His mind hasn't been completely wiped out. Instead, he is neither a monkey, nor is he a galaxy ranger. He's a young boot hill. One from many years back. Back when his homeland hadn't been ravaged, when he lived as a carefree child in the grasslands. A partial regression. How very interesting indeed. If memory serves, this version of him is at least ten years removed from the older Boot Hill, when he first fired a shot at a bandit. Miraculous. Be it the Sweet Dreams troop or myself, he can end it all with just one shot, but it just so happens that the decision to pull the trigger has to be made by his soul rather than his body. The child version of him now is completely incapable of firing his own gun. All right, Mr. Cowboy, come to me. Let's finish your final lesson now. A galaxy ranger that stands on the side of Dr. Primitive. A traitor born from nurture. This warrants several more research papers. Dreams. Uh, hey! Don't go over there! Be quiet, young lady. And mind your manners while class is in progress. Um... So I'm being... Yes, I am. It's like... Play much. I'm still myself. I'm just playing along, okay? Anyways. I'm calming. I'm, I'm a good boy, right? I'm a good boy, right? Psych! Am I... dreaming? Yes, of course. This dream is based off your memories. What do you last remember? Were you herding or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. Why does he sound like that? Huh. Well, that's strange. How did I fall asleep? Well, there's a lot of things I should be doing. I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while. But I suppose that's only right, considering where you are on the timeline. 
For you at this point, everything the IPC does is still in a far off future. What is that about? Is Black Swan here too? <laughs> does she know what's happening right now? What a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> it's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. And you'd be willing to die. Right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use that kind of analogy. <sighs> Ain't nothing strange about that. People gotta find ways to soothe their souls. Part of that's coming to terms with life and death. There's a saying from Aragon of Partial. Death is the fairest form of grace. For the good-hearted, death keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrels, death ends things clean and quick. I see. Does that mean you're not afraid of death? If so, Please extend your hand out for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe, in the name of Dr. Primitive, that is. This is my final lesson for you. You shall thoroughly understand his philosophy. And with that, a star will pitifully fizzle out. No problem, teacher. But uh, there's something else I have to tell you. But he I was worried about missing my shot, but now that I've gotten a hold of you, I reckon I won't. Oh, uh, see? <laughs> How is this possible? The regression should have occurred already. Whew. You want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now, but now there ain't no problem, because only an evildoer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf. All right. Well, you were yapping so loud. Did it ever cross your mind I could tell good from evil? Huh? It's as Nick said. Revenge needs no excuses. Just like how there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot at bad guys. How did things take such a turn? You're just a child! He played you! Even for someone born with a bad nature, the first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience! Huh. Is that so? Well, I reckon you got that wrong. Be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands, or a young cowboy who's never fired a gun. Both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. And that's... To put a bullet in anything evil, muddle fudger. Motherfucker. All right, let's go. I'll let you in on a secret, little punkhead. Tamper with my sin. This is easy. I don't need to switch any characters. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. You think this is the fault of me talking? <laughs> no, sure, Paul. I actually need it. Oh boy. Death is the fairest form of grace. Especially for muddle fudgers like you. We'll only become the worst form of evil with time. Alright. Oh. They stay happy, I'll talk badly. Uh, okay, Munch. Stay right there while I give you a present! Yeah, see? My Munch has more chilled than Japoid. Well, he's not fully built yet. At least good enough to survive. Like, pretty much. No, there we go. Just the heads. Be fine. Watch again. All of you stand still. But you run faster. Stand still. Nice. Okay, the next. Excuse me. Coming through. You have the worst luck. Okay, uh, March, you give shield to the next. With me out here, how can we lose? May as well kill them all. <laughs> Could be okay. Who you point next? Knight in your head. March has enough age energy. Why do you point at Kafka? Come on. 
Oh, Mama, you like much more than her. You much more good, is that it? Waiting in line for a bullet? Yeah, like this one. Bring it on, Walker. Motherfucker. Fire. Relax. Okay. Um. <laughs> You're pulling out the one person. Oh my goodness. There you go. Hey, why don't you point out mommy next? Never mind, she don't get one. You can't run. That sucks. My turn. Is it matters? Probably not. Stay right there while I give you a present. Target specimen sighted. Excuse yep. me. Coming through. Chop. <laughs> oh, I should have a little one. Oh well. I'm gonna be a little longer. I'm just waiting. But he only has enough. Even much. You don't have to do that. Like back to being mean. All shitty. Let's do it. Fair and square. Fight. Like this one. Stand still. Commence reset. Linus. <laughs> nice. March. <laughs> Beautiful. Cut in the net. Oh, well done. <laughs> Gotta try hard Let's sometimes. finish this. Check out this awesome move. Go, March. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good time. Never last. Time to say bye. Goodbye, motherfuckers. Boom. Boom. There's no reason. Oh, they're both dead. Anymore. There are only two kinds of people in the world. This one's wanted. Those with a loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. Look, almost dead. This finished the job. Wasn't for a while. Bro, I didn't say I can't breathe. Nah. What? I thought we're done by now! Okay, I guess we can go. Try that again! Here's the worst part! We did a mod, guess what? She's gonna shoot you. You can't run! Okay, we'll be fine. Try that again! I'm gonna go to the up, so. We're fine. Waiting in line for a bullet? Like that? Relax. Oh, I almost dead. Crazy. For something I'm guessing that wasn't for free. You have the worst luck running with nope. me out here. How can we lose? Someone's getting shocked. Like you. <laughs> yeah, poor that mama. Yeah, she's in all the plays. Like you're the best mama. Since the game came out. Okay, who's going next? Yeah, sure, Blue could get the place. All of you stand still. Like this one. Stand still. Commencing research. Uh excuse me. Coming through. I'm changing the moods. This might not. Um okay, Stay March, right you there next? while I give you a present! That breathing sensation. Okay, Remember it. Of a life. Oh wait, I should have the left one. Okay, am I dumb? Yes, I am. It happens. Okay, it happens. Oh, let's put here. Yes, the sweet sensation. I'm gonna press this one right away, but nope, it didn't look like it. Oh wait, that must be the one. Look, watch this. Watch this. Mike. You can't run. Thank you. Try that again. The power of all does not up anymore. So let's see. How let's do fair this and square. Fire. Relax. More than once. <laughs> you get chopped. Okay, that's done. Damn, this will take a few times. We already got it. One person, he's fine. Damn, the point boot heal. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
Um. Uh, oh shit. Yeah. With me out here, how can we lose? Okay, you get the biggest treatment. May as well uh, kill them all. So, uh, you're gonna need this one. Please add that and heal. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. How was all together? Please, help. Good time. Golf wasn't. Never last. Time to say bye. There's oh, no shit. reason it with you bunch anymore. You have the most health, so there are only two kinds of people in the world. Those with a loaded gun. Those who dig their own grave. To travel far Heal away. Us. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're Don't too worry, good this to me. Don't worry, this one's on me. <sighs> <sighs> Why not? Stand still. Waffles enough. Now what? Chop! Yep, oh, he's like saying, Ugh, wow, knees to Kafka! Look, well, these boys are holy for me, but they're robotic! Yeah, should be, why not? They're almost dead. That's hilarious. Look, two of them now. Uh oh, back up! Yeah, thanks. Good times. Never Goodbye. It's time to say bye. Goodbye, you sips. Mm. Boom. One still standing. Not anymore. There you go. Woo! That's another good thing about dying. Whatever your excuses and ideas are, I ain't gotta waste time listening to them. Oh, uh... Am I late? You referring to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one that's about to begin? Oh, oh right. I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like right now. Get my head checked? What in forking hell are huh? my synesthesia beacons back to normal? Dag it! <laughs> that's forking amazing! Hot diggity fudge! He's back to being cussing. Uh huh? So, you're saying everything went back to normal once you've smashed this thing to pieces? Uh, I see. No wonder those assistant Annas only want to teach students one on one. Yeah, I had a hunch. Sometimes it's just dead simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, nameless. No need for reinforcements. Seeing as how a few bullets will clear this up. Forking hell. You think you can find a better shot than me and Pentaconi? Hmm, who knows. Okay. Now, we're heading... More way? We're doing more bullshit? Yeah, you scared me, huh? I'm a partner, but I'm scared of... How about this one? You scared of me, huh? You like to... Like how intimidating I look, don't you? Okay, and moving on. Um... Yeah, hey, look. It's the suspect. That's right, fellow members. Everything that's about to happen next isn't the end for us. With Dreamflux Reef as our starting point, a beautiful world shall descend upon all, and he will eventually cast his gaze upon us and the grand cause that we've forged together. Grand? Grand in what way, Muddle Fudger? All right, folks, eyes on me. Now listen here. This whole thing's a Muddle Fudger scheme. Go. Scurry off and hide. Ain't no harm in being foolish, but no one to steer clear. You two again. I can forget everything else you've done, but slandering the name of Slumber Nana Monkey before Prof Nana Primon? Do you even know what you're doing? Montana, would you please just hear me out? Save it. You really think you can <coughs> still convince him? Mr. Ranger. <coughs> Perhaps going back to our origin. Who asked you? I'm only gonna say this once. I ain't interested in hearing your philosophies or sob story. You're a dastardly evildoer who will cease to exist once a bullet's put into you. <laughs> Guess what? I just so happen to be holding a gun right now. 
Since everything's turned out to be so simple, there's no need to use too much of my intellect. Catch my drift. See, I'm not here to teach a class, shirt brain. Mm -mm. I've come to help. Class is over! Mosh <laughs> pajama ties, uh oh. This is Vanessa. Mice, do something about it. Don't stand there. You shield her, right? Mice is so dramatized. Said done, done. How's this for Where are you going? Radical? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going in there? Oh, a deeper plot twist. Previously on Cosmic Institute and Description. Okay. Um. Destiny elongates time, in the same way ramen noodles are stretched. The ninja capital has turned into an abyssal hell under the devastation of evil Ninja Osaru. Even the mighty Lan would rather close their eyes to the capital's sorry state and let out a long sigh. The only remaining ninja, Dazzling Ninja, aka Rappa, has trained an entire decade under the tutelage of Master Kucha to be adept in a wide variety of ninjutsu. Gaining also the ability to recite lengthy mantras fluently. But deep down, Master Kucha is aware that it is only when Rappa receives the tutelage of other ninja heroes and embarks upon the paramount way of the ninja as dazzling ninja can she save the entire ninja capital. In the darkest hour of the night, a falling meteor streaks across the sky, marking the graduation of ninja initiate Rappa and her new identity as Ninja Hero Rappa. The Ninja Capital. In the southern night fog, the street are colors, safe from the neon sights scatter about the spooky who and Desi Ninja Seal and the swift spirit of the Desi Ninja herself. What's scattered on the ground like garbage bags are not passive garbage, instead, they are a lackey of their soul. The ones casting the shell in front of Desi Ninja is not a dead spirit, but rather an unknown vessel who endures a powerful and superior power. Greetings. Might you be? My pleasure to make your acquaintance too. We are ninja heroes who have received the true teachings of the hunt. We come oh my, look at the background. to punish evil ninja Osaru. Are those meant to be blood other than just paint they want to ask so badly? Ninja hero? Huh. It seems that my trial has finally come to an end. Trial? The final trial of the Mapo Age. Destroy the Matrix of Osaru's house and end the catastrophe that has befallen this land. Pray tell, have I proven myself worthy of the title of Ninja Hero? Oh, mighty Eon of the Hunt. What indomitable ninja spirit she has. Indeed, one as devoted as you rightfully deserve the title of Ninja Hero. Greetings, dazzling ninja. <sighs> Ten arduous years of training finally culminated in this. A new title will be conferred upon me today. I can proudly say that I have never gone against the tenets of Dazzling Ninjutsu all this time. <sighs> How I wish you were here to witness this glory of mine today, Master Kucha. With that, I shall continue my journey to take down the evil ninja. Farewell. Make no haste, since I am now a ninja hero fit to contend with the evil ninja. Would you let me join you in your crusade? No, for your hunt is long complete. This is mine, and mine alone. Low, 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 lone. Cut! What? I see. This talent would do well in special effect films. <laughs> we have quite some fascinating actors today. One perpetually films before a green screen. Another has been through a change of identities. And... Assistance. And you, of course. 
the one with the most potential, festive superstar from the land of the dreams. Hmm. Uh, uh, better explain yourself, Director. Actually, please let me apologize once more. Yes, it is true that I had a working relationship with Prof Nana, but I was coerced into it. As a mimetic life form, I inadvertently fell into the hands of my enemies and became infected with a lethal mimetic virus. Hmm. Your memories all mean then? Well, memo keeper. Oh, no, not those. I have a much bigger role than those extras. I see. The spatial ninjutsu that you displayed earlier was truly ingenious. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a memo ninja from the Garden of Zen collection. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, am I right to see your act of betrayal at the Dean's office as a ruse to teleport us to safety here? Perhaps I was just trying to bail myself out of the situation. But now yourself? <laughs> this guy. But <laughs> but Yeah, chill out, dude. The words you speak. Well, this seems to be the answer for everything. Bana gibberish has long infiltrated every cell and organ of our body. Since Penacone's dreams are rooted in the desires of the masses, the mimetic corruption has had an irreversible impact on the dreamscape itself. Slumber Nana Monkey's sweeping craze wasn't the beginning of things. Rather, it heralded the end. From that point onward, the moment of Slumber Nana was fated to be born. But... What differentiates this from other mimetic viruses is the period and extent of its influence. Is that right? I'm impressed. It seems Don Hung is not only a skilled actor, but also has profound knowledge on communication theory. Trends come and go, but every single one of them eventually dies down. Much like how a violent storm quells with time. We may not be able to dampen the increasing popularity of Slumber Nana Monkey, but we can always work to hasten the trend's recession. How do we accomplish this, you ask? We'll have to introduce our lead actor for the night. Yes, it's none other than you, ninja actor. Hmm, the key is in my past, isn't it? Prof. Nana Primon once called you the Doctor's failed creation. I am extremely interested in this. What lies behind your insistence on narrating everything from the intriguing worldview of a ninja? When I made the connection between that and the Banacademics that we've seen earlier, I came to the realization that this might be the very reason you're immune to Slumber Nana Monkey's corruption. Yeah, knows what that. What Prof. Nana said also hinted at a possibility that links everything else up. That this is but another one of Dr. Primitive's experiments. As for you, Actor Rappa, you were already infected with another mimetic virus. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when used correctly, the venom of a scorpion neutralizes snake venom just as poison wine may sometimes be used to quench thirst. What you said is right. I once fell into the clutches of Osaru's domain when sorcery ninjutsu was inflicted upon me. I had to undergo endless tribulations to break the fiendish spells. Only then did I manage to escape. That memory has long become a story I leave behind in my past. Though, if Penacani's future hinges on it... I am willing to bring back that memory and face it once more. Well, well, well. If the mimetic entities can overwrite one another, so can mimetic viruses. If we can just edit this virus out of our ninja actor's memory, there may be a way to destroy those nasty monkey synesthesia dreamscape. As the third act of a film, this can well be considered as a masterful development to the overall plot. And for the sake of propelling the plot forward, it looks like you'll have to take on a lead role again, actor superstar. Hmm. Uh, watch baseball ninja, baseball bat ninja shine like a diamond. Mimetic viruses, no matter the type, 
can be fatal to a memo keeper. But that's not the case for you. As the protagonist, you will surely be able to unveil the truth behind the numerous layers of foreshadowing in this film. Go on, take my film reel and turn her memories into the MacGuffin that will shatter this plot once and for all. Interesting. Uh, the banana gibberish in my mind is getting clearer now. I have to move quickly. Move quickly? Oh, that should just go into a mine just like that? Hey, Small Bat Ninja. Are you ready to dive into my past? Make all necessary preparations, for you may be jolted out of sorts when we encounter the bloody, tearful, and ruthless moments in my memory. Okay, not Ninjas yet. Ninjas only strike when the opportunity presents itself. Waiting might be the right course of action to take for now. Yeah, let's just stop it there for now, okay? Next episode. Oh, well, I'm gonna avail. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.